So the day has finally come where I finally count up all the books I still need to read. AKA my TBR pile. It's not really a pile anymore, guys. It's like a shelf. I'm not even joking. I have two shelves full of TBR books. No, three shelves. Okay, three shelves full of TBR books. It's bad. It's very bad. Like, really bad. But you know, so many books, a little time. Really so true. Hello everybody, today I'm going to be doing the TBR shame tag created by Sarah Churchill. Just a disclaimer, not all these books I bought recently. A lot of them have been sitting there for quite a few years, like three years. So I'm not an excessive book buyer. I did not buy all these just last week. I'm just telling you this now. Well, I am an excessive book buyer, but not this excessive. This is like really excessive if I literally bought all these books in the past week. Oh, that would be like hoarding. And I wish I had that much money, which I don't at all, sadly. This is technically going to be like a bookshelf tour. Well, more like a three shelf tour because that's how many TBR books I have, but you get the gif, okay? There's a lot of books. So just telling you this right now, all these books that I'm gonna be sharing with you guys today are gonna be books I purchased myself, not books that publishers have sent me. So these are all the books I have personal responsibility to read, but I just haven't yet. <sighs> There's a lot of books, guys, still. Like, there's so many books. Also, please don't go off me in the comments if I pronounce an author's name wrong. It's an honest mistake. Thank you. The first book is Grave Mercy by Robin Lefevers. Number two is Deception's Princess by Esther Friesner. See, this one I didn't even take the freaking receipt out of. Oh my gosh. Three is Labyrinth by Pearl North. Four is Plus One by Elizabeth Fama. Number five is Between the Devil and the Deep Blue Sea by April Genevieve. Tuckolk. Number six is Control by Lydia Kang. Numero seven is Salvage by Alexandra Duncan. Eight is After the End by Amy Plum. Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm gonna forget what number I'm on. I'm sorry if I do. That would kinda suck. Nine is Touch by Just Accardo. Is that number nine? I think it was number nine. If it wasn't, I'll just do, you know what? Well, let's just do a tally at the end. I'll just round it up at the end and we'll just do it that way. Or else I'm gonna forget what number I'm on. It'll be extremely awkward. It's already awkward. After Eden by Helen Douglas. I was really excited to read this book, but then I figured out the book was not coming out that month It was coming out a few months later, so my excitement went down once I bought it, sadly The Coldest Girl in Cold Town by Holly Black The Taking by Kimberly Durting Look, my dog's going back to his little hidey hole Go, go to your corner, go to your corner See, it's his corner He sits there every single day, at least ten times a day or he just doesn't move. Partials by Dan Wells. Starcross by Josephine Angeli. Eve by Anne Carey. Until I Die by Amy Plum. Dark Companion by Marta Acosta. Angel Fire by Courtney Allison Moulton. I actually read half of this book and I just didn't finish it. Not because it was bad, I just didn't finish it. So it's technically still my TBR. Dark Kiss by Michelle Rowan. Angel Fall by Susan E. And everybody loves this book and I just haven't read it yet. Actually, I did read. 61 pages of it. I don't know why I put it down. It was very good. Once again, I don't know why I put these books down when they're good. I'm crazy. It was a few years ago though, so it's okay. I've changed as a reader. The Uglies by Scott Westerfield. Carrie by Stephen King. The Raft by S.A. Bodine. Switched by Amanda Hawking. A Great and Terrible Beauty by Libra Bray. This cover is gorgeous. I need to finish this book. I started it. I just never finished it. Once again, this is a third book that I mentioned so far that I just haven't finished. It was a while ago too, guys. It was a, like a year and a half ago. Cut me some slack, please. 13 Reasons Why by Jay Asher. And then these two really cute Doctor Who books that, you know, you buy these at half price books, but you never really read them. You just like to have them. Yeah, those are what these books are for me. So I, they are still to be too read. He's cute. Wanna go? You have to stay. Oh, did the dogs pee on you again? Oh, you do not get to just got peed on again. That's not okay. Oh, he's such a cutie pie. He gets peed on by the other dogs. The other dogs are mean. Daughters of the Moon by Lynn Ewing. Bitten by R.L. Stein. The Vampire Diary Stefan's Origins by L.J. Smith. Night World Volume 1 and Night World Volume 3 by L.J. Smith. I don't know why I have volumes of these. I got them from Half Price Books for a dollar. Oh, that's why I got them. They were a dollar. Why I got them? I did not need them, but I got them anyways. Why? Hunger and Gone by Michael Grant. I know you guys are gonna hate me for this next one, but The Lightning Thief and Sea Monsters by Rick Riordan. Still need to read it. Haven't yet. Linger by Maggie Stiefvater. Still need to. Sweet Peril by Wendy Higgins. Hades by Alexandria Ardo Ardernetto. Ar Ar Ardornetto. 
Ardoranato, Hollow City by Ransom Riggs, Breaking Point by Kristen Simmons, Four by Veronica Roth, Don't Look Back by Jennifer L. Armitrout. I really want to read this because Jennifer L. Armitrout is like one of my favorite authors and I've read all of her other books except this one. I need to get to it. Soon. Soon. Silver Shadows by Rochelle Mead. I still haven't read this. Gotta get to it. Pride and Prejudice and Zombies by Jane Austen and Seth Grandsmith. My Name is Memory by Anne Brashares. Inside Out by Maria V. Schneider. Dearly Departed by Leah Havel. Evermore by Alison Noel. Faded also by Alison Noel. I gave this book a shot, did not like it, read only 10 pages. Hex Hall by Rachel Hawkins. Wrecked by Anna Davies. Accordance by Shelley Crane. Facade by Nai Ray Dawn. The Vincent Boys by Allie Glein. Fifty Shades Darker by E.L. James. Still working on Fifty Shades, guys, I promise. Thoughtless by S.C. Steffens. Losing It by Cora Comrack. Marked by P.C. Cast and Kristen Cast. Wake by Lisa McMahon. Through the Evernight by Veronica Rossi. I think I haven't read this book. Have I read it? I don't think I have because I don't recollect reading it. Siege and Storm and Rune and Rising by Leigh Barbugo. Really want to read these books soon. Really badly. Right here there's Requiem by Lauren Oliver. I have not read that yet. Would pick it up but it's under a lot of books. So yeah. Crest by Marissa Meyer really want to read this book. This series is so good. Will Grayson Will Grayson by John Green and David Levithan. I gave this a shot, did not like it, so it's technically still a TBR book. Don't Hate Me but Paper Towns by John Green and Looking for Alaska by John Green. Going to read these books very soon though, I can promise you that. The Statistical Probability of Love at First Sight. That was a long title but I got it and it is by Jennifer E. Smith. Between the Lines by Jodie Pickelt and Samantha Von Leer. The Raven Boys by Maggie Stiefvater. Barely Breathing by Rebecca Donovan. Along for the Ride by Sarah Nesson. A lot of classics that I just so I'm not gonna name because there's a lot of them. A Race by Jennifer Rush. Hover by Melissa West. The Demon's Lexicon and Unspoken by Ceres Brennan. I really want to read these books really badly. The Witches of Glass Castle by Gabriella Lepore, which I just got in the mail and I'm so excited to read it, which I'm reading it next month. It has a castle in it and witches. It sounds so cool. I'm so excited. Death from the Skies by Philip Platt. Ah, I'm so scared from the skies. Ah, okay. Oh. Damn it, that was drop, dropping, stay. Dustlands by Moira Young. The Pride of Lions by Martha Canham. Poultry Geeks by Sean Cummings. Kiss Crush Collide by Christina Meredith. <laughs> it's like Christina Meredith from Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> Christina Meredith. <laughs> I'm done. Awaken by Katie Kapinski. I actually remember talking about this book and I think my first book haul. That was a long time ago. Tatiana and Alexander by Paulina Simmons. The first book with the bronze horseman was amazing. Ruby Red by Kristen Gear. Pendragon by DJ McHale. It's a really intense name and title. Whoa. And finally we get to The Winter Sea by Susan Kearsley. These are not all the books I have yet to read but I think it's pretty much most of them. The other ones I'm not sure where they're sitting in my room at the moment but that's a lot of them. That's probably like 95% of the books I still have to read and that's still a lot of books. Also guys I totally forgot to share these books with you because I just overlooked them but I still need to finish the rest of the Outlander series. I only read book one and I really want to read book two so badly just like it takes a lot out of you so I'm gonna wait till I have a lot of time to read it so um, either Thanksgiving break or winter break I'll be reading it which I'm super excited about and then there's the Game of Thrones series which I still have to read so yeah lots of big series it's okay I'll get to them soon because those books are supposed to be so amazing I'm very excited I'm a huge fan of the show so I better get a huge fan of the books so I think we can all agree since we're all book lovers here or at least some of us are or most of us unless you don't like books you're watching a booktube channel but anyways I think that most of us have gotten this little issue of getting so many TBR books that there's just too many of them to read and you just can't read them all anymore. I have reached that point. I reached that point about a year ago. Oh my gosh. And these are actually not all the books that I have yet to read because I did get books from like publishers and there's at least 50 to 100 books there. Oh my god, there's a lot. <laughs> so that is it for the TBR shame tag and I'm quite shamed for all these books I still have to read. Here's a grand total of books I still have to read right here, right there. Oh god, that's a lot. That's a big number. Get out of the screen now. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Bye!